Hi, I was asked to do a flip through of my 2021 reading journal, so let's do it. First of all, I'm from Israel, so we write from the uh, right hand side. So I've flipped my journal to the other side, and that's the way I flip pages. It is my title page. It's not finished yet. I'm not sure whether I want to do tiles over here or just continue the wall. Next, I have my 2021 reading goals. So uh, let's go through them quickly. Basically, I would like to read 200 books. Uh, these are stats from Goodreads. When I get, I'll get them at the end of the year, like total page, average um, pages per book. Average rating, shortest books, longer, longest books. Uh, I want to read 10 books by Israeli authors, 10 books that are longer than 500 pages. I want to finish 10 series and to read th uh, 30 new to me authors and to get to read at least 15 books with six trial ratings. So this is my uh, stats page. Maybe I'll keep it like this. Uh, so this is the summary of each month. Uh, how many physical books I read, audiobooks, ebooks, all the all the goals I set here. This is the summary. Next, we have our favorite book of the month. I find this page to be very helpful because a lot of people ask me what is my favorite book for the year so far, and I never knew how to answer so now I have my three favorite book so far and I can choose The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue to be my uh, favorite book so far and also it's fun to see that in January my favorite book was a, a contemporary MM male male romance February was a fantasy book and March was a hist historian book a romance novel so we'll see how this, the year goes by. Next, we have an alphabet challenge. I'm pretty happy to say that I'm, I've always, almost finished it. I have books for H and I. Q, V, X, and Y, I have a problem, and Z. I think I have a books for X, but I'm not sure about it. So if you have a Rex for books, that starts with these letters. Please leave them in the comments. Next, I have my series over, uh, overview. So these are series that I started, loved, and want to finish. Uh, some of them are very, very, very long, like the Black Brother, Dagger Brotherhood or Virgin River. I have one more long, oh, Ice Planet by Barbarians. And most of them, I'll, I'll read the book a month or the, these are not ser uh, series that I binge read so hopefully I'll finish some of them this year next I have a 50 52 books in 52 weeks challenge so I have all these prompts and whenever I read a book I will mark it here and then write the name of the book on this page then I have a challenge I have from a Facebook group I'm part of. So it's one book from, per month. And then I have my social media tracker. So I, I like to, to track how many likes or followers I gain, as opposed to how many posts I posted each month to see if, if there's a correlation between, the two, two, between those two. Then I have another 52 uh, prompts challenge. This is this one is harder, but I've, I've I was able to, to finish part of it. And then I'm, this is the monthly monthly spreads. I have these tabs for each month. So this is January. I mainly update um, posts on Facebook that I post because I want to see um, how many and when I posted them. This is books that I read in January. So the list, I mark, I, I number them, date them, write the name of the book and the author. Then I write the format I read it 
if it's audio, ebook, or physical book, if it's a new to me author, number of pages, and my star rating. I rate my book from one star to six stars. This is new to me uh, because I used to uh, rate it only up to five stars. And this is the summary of the um, of the month, so books read, the rating, and everything else. Then I have February. This is the in February I attended the few events. So this is the month summary. Books are read in February. And then these are the events I attended. Uh, this is a um, MM Fe uh, readathon. Uh, I think I might have finished a few more books from this readathon, but I need to update this. And then we had uh, Fair of Feb, Fantasy Romance, and another small challenge. Next, uh, in March, I, um, I, uh, he la, I wrote review reviews on my Facebook page for books on Audible Plus. So I made a list of books that I want to uh, listen and write about and publish. And these are books that I read that also I need to write about and publish on my Facebook page. And then I used to have, I still have, but it's not active, a Facebook page and a Instagram and YouTube you're actually watching the YouTube channel, but it used to be for the Strackler. What's wrong with me today? Scrapbook Buddies, which is my crafting channel. So um, basically, as you can see, I have almost 5,000 likes on my Facebook page. My Instagram page, since I'm not adding any new post, I'm losing followers. And I've recently started in March a TikTok page for my um, for the for my reading, so it's a book talk. Next, I have a contact planner. Um, this uh, in this I write each month my uh, the reading tones I, I participate in, uh, uh, some goals I have for my Facebook page, and so on. Then I have my Scribd TBR. These are books that I saved on Scribd and I put on priority to read first. So I wrote them here and find it much more easier to look on this list instead of the, in the app. And then I have my Kindle TBR. I have on my Kindle more than 700 books. Whoops. So these are books by authors that I love and or series that I started that I want to continue. Um, then I have my Goodreads cha reading challenge. This is just, just a way for me to mark how many books I've read so far. Uh, divided by months. Then I made this subgenre Tetris game. And I thought it was so much fun and colorful. And then in, in February I read so many MM books and fantasy books. And... It began to be so uh, much harder than I thought, so I might go back back to this challenge, but for now I'm putting it on hold. Next we have um, books on my uh, phone. These are uh, on my phone. I have, I have a few apps with books from of Israeli authors, books in Hebrew. I, I'm I buy a lot of books, but I hardly read them because I'm. I find it much more easier to read on my Kindle or to listen to audiobooks, so I need to get to this. But I... then I made this um, favorite uh, author uh, TBR. I have four my four of my favorite authors, which is Emma Scott, Daisy Jessing Gaysinger, K. A. Tucker, and Mariana Zapata, and each one of them have a, has a library card. The date is the date of when I read the, uh, the first book by them, and then I have all the backlists, the books I read, and then how I rated them. And basically, I would like to read all of their books. Then we have March. And the books are ready, March. In March, I read... Oops, 
27 books, which is a lot of books, mostly because, again, I binged listen to books on audio, Audible Plus. So there's a lot of um, uh, audiobooks here. One thing is that most of the books got four stars, maybe even three stars. Not a lot of them got a five star. You can see I've only 10 five star, which is not a lot, a lot for me because I usually rate above three stars and books that I don't enjoy, I don't, I DNF, I don't re continue reading. And I have zero six stars, so nothing really. Then I have a bingo challenge. There's a few prompts here. Uh, enemies to lovers, blue on the cover. Another list of books that I read and I want to write about for my Facebook page. This is a yearly bingo challenge. It's from a Facebook group in in Hebrew here in Israel. So I have a, lot, a few um, a few done. Next we have April. I don't any have any events in April. It's I just decided to read uh, whatever I want <laughs> to to catch up on my TBR. So these are books I read in April. Well, still I'm filming this on April twenty fifth. I think today is so. Then I have, uh, <laughs> I thought it would be funny to track the books on my Kindle. So every month, I check, every month I check the number of books on my Kindle, number of books read, and then unread. And then the, um, I, I calculate the percentages read. So, so this is a new challenge that I started today. It's a read around the world challenge. So each month you get a part of a continent uh, to read books that are based in this part of the world. I've already made a small mistake because uh, for March I need to read Eastern Europe books and I wrote The Nightingale. And it's mostly based in France, which is Western Europe. So I need to change this. And if you have any recs for books that are based in Northern Asia, leave them in the comments because I'm looking for something to read. Um, it needs to be a romance novel, something in Japan, China, North Korea, um, Taiwan, Uzbekistan, <laughs> these parts of the world. Let me know in the comments. And then uh, 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 I have this favorite author TBR. This is a, also new. Basically, every author that I would like to read the entire backlist, I, I made a jar. And then this is the number of books that I want to read. And in the pencil, the number of books that I've read. I'm trying to find a solution to put the list here. I've made um, a list uh, like this that can be you can put it in the back but it's not very comfortable so I will have to find a new solution if you think of something let me know in the comments and that's it I will do a plan with me hopefully I will do a plan with me for my May soon thanks for watching and I hope you like my reading journal